Good evening and welcome once again to ATI Field at Joliet Memorial Stadium. Terry Bonadonna with you today for CCAC Soccer, the University of St. Francis hosting Robert Morris University. Fighting Saints come in with a record of 7-6-1, and one. Robert Morris 2-9-1, and, and the Saints are tied for fourth place in the conference at the start of play today with a 5-3 record. Robert Morris just one conference win so far. They have six losses and one tie. That tie came in their last game earlier this week against St. Ambrose. Fighting Saints have lost back-to-back -back contests, so they're looking to get back on the winning track. They had a four-game winning streak back in late September, and they're trying to recapture some of that September magic tonight against a struggling Eagles team. Saints are wearing white today as the home team. They're going from left to right on your screen here in the first half and shooting into the south goal, and Robert Morris is in the maroon jerseys with black shorts, gold hoops on the jersey tops, and they are shooting in the north goal, going from right to left on your screen for the first 45 minutes. St. Francis kicks first, and we are underway. A beautiful evening. Temperatures in the mid-60s and clear skies overhead as we start this one in the dark of night. It's knocked out of bounds by Robert Morris. Fighting Saints will get the throw in here. It's Stephen Campbell who gets set to take it. I'll read you the rest of the starters in just a moment. Headed back by Robert Morris. Eagles trying to get the ball into St. Francis territory. They do here, but Campbell clears it for the moment. And let's look at the visiting starters first. Robert Morris has Edgar Aranda, Jonathan Schneider, Alan Santana, Irving Balboa, Mitchell Corona, Jonah Nuno Sheldon, Giovanni Marquez, Maximilian Never, Adiel Salgado. They make a run down towards the corner. That ball will be knocked out of bounds, and it does go out the back line. So it's a goal kick. Ignacio Zaragoza, the final starter, transfer from Triton College, and of course the goalkeeper as well for Robert Morris. I've not mentioned it's Christian Brunette. Brunette starting for the seventh time, making his eighth appearance of the year. Goals allowed average 2.64. He's got 51 saves, a 1-6 and 1 record in his games. He does not have a shutout this season. Here comes Kelvin and Lovu hit to the ground, a hard hit there from Edgar Aranda. And he's going to be okay and pull himself up. St. Francis is going to have a free kick. Foul actually committed before the contact between Enlovu and Aranda. It came on the initial kick that got there. So back it up 15 yards for the free kick here. Stephen Campbell squares it up. And there's the kick. Down into the box. Up into the air. It's headed off to the right side, chasing it towards the sideline. It's cleared by Robert Morris. But Stephen Campbell on the back end comes in to continue the play. Campbell rolls it off to his right. Here's Ivan Serlina. Serlina back to Campbell again, chipped into the box. And a little bit too high and off to the left sideline, out of bounds. The starters for St. Francis, you've already heard many of their names. Mason Messina, Leon Laskowski, Calvin and Lovu, Mohamed Rashid, Michael Santillo, Stephen Campbell, Joshua Yemen. Ivan Serlina makes his first start of the season, along with Raul Roman making just his second start of the year. And the freshman, Brian Castillo. The goalkeeper is the stalwart freshman, Carlos Ferrer Cotto. I'll give you his numbers in just a moment. Cotto is going to get involved in this play, circling that ball and hunching over it as he allows it to go out of bounds for a goal kick. Cotto, just a freshman out of Spain, starting for the 14th time out of 15 total games for the Saints this year. He's got 42 saves and has allowed a paltry 0.87 goals per contest. Six wins, six losses one tie in his 13 starts this year. Nearly a quarter of them have been shutouts, three out of 13. Three minutes gone in this game. Neither side has a shot yet. Robert Morris trying to take a shot downfield, but it goes out of bounds and the Saints will toss it in. St. Francis got off to a great start to conference play, their best in years. They won their first four CCAC games. As Campbell finally does toss it in to Calvin and Lovu, knocks it right back to Campbell. Campbell is pressured, and the ball is knocked out of bounds by Maximilian Never. Over their last four games, they've gone just one and three, and they've been shut out in all three of those losses, but keep in mind the way the schedule has worked out, those three losses have come to the top three teams in the conference. Here's Calvin and Lovu on the run, but he's offside. 
Despite the fact that they've lost three of their last four games, keep in mind that not only have they been against the top three teams in the conference, or at least three of the top four teams in the conference, I should say, not as though they're getting blown out. All three of those defeats were just one to nothing. So they have been in every game in conference play. Carlos Ferrer Cotto waits back on that ball and scoops it up in the box. Amazingly, their last five losses have all been one to nothing. So essentially, if they score, they win. The only loss they have this year in which they scored a goal was a two to one non conference defeat way back on September 3rd against William Woods. Here's Kelvin and Lobu racing down the sideline. Lobu crosses, headed away. Well defended there by Adiel Salgado. Giovanni Marquez clears it for the Eagles. And Lovu once again knew he was offsides. He had to take a big step back behind the defense before he could make his move forward. And by that point, he had lost his momentum, and the ball easily finds the goalkeeper, Christian Brunette. So the Eagles are going the other way. And that's Maximilian Never, worked off the ball by Mohamed Rashid and Ivan Serlina. And this is Rashid now working back to the defensive side. Mohamed Rashid has been the Saints' best player this year. He leads the team in both goals and assists. Mitchell Corona takes the ball away. Corona off to the left side and Irving Balboa. Balboa gets it around Santillo, finds Maximilian Never at the corner of the box. Never makes a move inside. Never along the back line, fires a shot and it's high and out of bounds. Nice move by Maximilian Never. But a little bit off on the shot attempt, coming in from an awkward angle. Carlos Ferrer Cotto came out of him, closing up some of the gaps, and never went high. Ended up a little bit too high. It's out for a goal kick. 39 minutes to play. First half of action, and a good start to today's game as these two teams have gone back and forth at the field. A fast-paced start. Only one shot has been taken so far. No shots on goal for either team. Despite that, it has been... A good offensive game up to this point. Both teams getting some early chances. That ball goes out of bounds. It'll be a St. Francis throw in. Leon Laskowski tosses it in and now kicks it downfield. Added back the other direction by Edgar Aranda. Ball loose near midfield and Robert Morris controls it. That's Corona looking for never, but Stephen Campbell. Heads it away. Nice touch by Kelvin and Lovu, and now he works it out in front of him. He's tripped up. And the Saints will get a free kick, but that was an unfortunate trip. Kelvin and Lovu, great first touch on that ball. And he is so quick. He was going to blow by Adiel Salgado and have a good path to the net as he tried to work that one into the first goal of the game. Instead, it'll be a free kick for the Saints. Salgado tripped him and with 38 minutes and 16 seconds remaining in the first half. He'll get written up for that one. Ball kicked in by Leskowski, up into the air by Joshua Yemen and down into the waiting hands of Christian Brunette. Tom Kazalka, the official, he gave the yellow card to Adiel Salgado. Jaime Guzman, Anthony Frigo, the other two officials in today's game. No score, seven minutes in. St. Francis on the far side. Leskowski loses it out of bounds. Robert Morris gets the throw in here. Brian Castillo knocks it downfield and we've got a whistle, that ball did go out of bounds. Robert Morris will toss it in again. Leskowski on the defense, down in the corner. Let's that ball go out of bounds. It's a goal kick. Alan Santana was trying to get around him and work his way to that ball. Couldn't make it. So Carlos Ferrer Cotto, star freshman goalkeeper, sets the ball up and kicks it away. Cotto and fighting Saints defense have not allowed more than one goal in any game since September 3rd. The offsides flag goes up on Maximilian Never. Check that, they've allowed more than one goal in one game since September 3rd. September 30th was the last time they did it. That was five games ago and it was a six to two victory 
against Trinity Christian. Calvin and Lovu trying to track that ball down. Deep on the Robert Morris side, and Lovu does win the battle. Now there's the cross, headed towards the net and in. It's a goal for the Fighting Saints. And they take a one to nothing lead. Raul Roman headed it in off a beautiful pass from Kelvin and Lovu. 36-24 to go first half, and St. Francis has the early advantage. Raul Roman, a freshman out of Wabonzi Valley High School, picks up the first goal of his collegiate career, making just his second career start, and it pays off for Dan Cross early. A good move to start Roman, and a beautiful ball from Kelvin and Lovu. That set that thing up. An assist for him. And for him, Lovu. That is the fourth assist this season. That ties him with Mohamed Rashid and Leon Laskowski. For a team lead. Ninth minute of action for Raul Roman. The Saints will be playing from ahead today, and that's always good for any team as that ball goes into the box again, but it'll be scooped up by Brunette. But as I mentioned earlier, the trend for St. Francis, if they score a goal, they win the game. They have only once all season lost a game in which they got at least one on the board. So a very good early sign for the Fighting Saints today. Here's Corona trying to control that ball and tapping it off to the left side. He finds Irving Balboa. Balboa downfield to Maximilian Never, who just does stay on sides, can never keep it in bounds. He can, he's down in the corner. Working against Campbell, there's the cross. There's the header, it's wide to the right and out of bounds for a goal kick. Carlos Ferrer Cotto gets it set up and boots it away. That ball will die just before midfield, and a foul is called against St. Francis. Wind is howling here in Joliet tonight. A strong wind blowing pretty much straight north, which means it's at the backs of the Robert Morris offense right now. We saw it in action on that Carlos Ferrer goal kick, and on any punts, any ball going that direction just pretty much dies. Kelvin and Lovu chasing that ball, and it's out of bounds. Robert Morris will get the throw in. Tossed into Balboa and Lovu working his way in to try to take that ball away from Balboa and Marquez, but they do clear it from him. Here's Maximilian Never turning to the outside and losing the ball out of bounds. And Lovu taps it for Serlina but misses. And then here comes Corona working against Campbell. Corona chasing that ball down. It is out of bounds. Rowan belongs to St. Francis. 33 and a half minutes to play. First half of action, the Fighting Saints have the early lead on the goal from Raul Roman. First goal he has scored at St. Francis. High into the air, that ball drifting out of bounds. Bounces on the track and into the seats. So they'll retrieve a new ball and toss it in Robert Morris' way. Poked away out of bounds by Stephen Campbell. And the Saints will get the throw in here. Campbell tosses off the head of Kelvin and Lohu, right back to Stephen Campbell, pressured by Zaragoza. Ignacio Zaragoza battling for that ball and losing to Mohamed Rashid. And knocked towards the corner, out of bounds. St. Francis gets another throw in. The ball just barely out along the sideline rather than the back line. And Campbell will be forced to trudge back down into that corner before he is allowed to throw it in. Off the chest of Serlina. Maximilian never shot is deflected. Here's Irving Balboa. Balboa working his way to his right. Now cuts back to the left. Serlina on the defense. Balboa tripped up by Ivan Serlina. 
And that's going to be a foul against Serlina and a free kick from a pretty part of the field for Robert Morris. Good chance right here as they look for the equalizer. Ball will be set up just about 24 yards out from the net, slightly off to the left side. And Mitchell Corona will be the man to take the approach and the kick here. Corona tied for second on the team with two goals this year. Robert Morris does not have a high scoring offense. So it's big for them to get a chance on a free kick so close to the net so early in the game. Corona waits for the go ahead. And there it is. Here comes the kick. Too high. Out of bounds. Sailed it through the goal posts. The football goal posts. Would have earned him three points about six hours ago when the St. Francis football team was playing, but it gets him just a goal kick here in this one. Carlos Ferrer Cotto kicks it away. Balboa rolls it to the left. Calvin Lovu knocks it away briefly, but Robert Morris gets it back. It is Balboa again. Pushed ahead for Never. Never running in on Santillo, takes the shot, and Cotto makes another save. Carlos Ferrer Cotto's been tested a little bit early in this game. A man who has been sensational this year, allowing less, well less actually, than a goal per game. But he's only made 42 saves entering play today. That speaks to the quality of the defense. And he's making less than four saves per contest. The opposition just doesn't get that many chances typically against St. Francis. Robert Morris today, on the contrary, has kept the pressure on early, but they have not yet broken through as they trail one to nothing exactly 15 minutes into the action. Lobbed in for Corona, who pushes it ahead to Never. Never has that ball headed away by Brian Castillo. And now headed out of the box by St. Francis. Cleared by Mason Messina. Sheldon gets it back for Robert Morris. St. Francis clears for good. And now Kelvin and Lobo on a long run. But Edgar Aranda knocks it back to Brunette. And Brunette is able to get it out of there for the Eagles. Right side, Adiel Salgado pushes onward for Robert Morris. This is Balboa. To the left, Corona. Corona's pass intercepted by Enlovu, and now Kelvin Enlovu making his way down the sideline. Taps it back to himself, and a good pass to Ivan Serlina. Serlina's got Yemen out in front of him. He passes to his left instead. It's Mohamed Rashid back to Serlina, whose shot is deflected. Gets it right back. Now to the right side, looking for Enlovu. That pass is booted away by Robert Morris's defense. Nice defense there by the Eagles. The attack is not done though for the Saints. Leon Laskowski down in the corner. Rolls it ahead for Yemen. Yemen tripped up in the box, but no call, so no penalty kick. And that ball is cleared to midfield. Here comes Messina, trying to put the charge on once again. Mason Messina down on the left side. Hooks out with Leon Laskowski. Laskowski rolls it by the defender, gets it to Yemen in front of the net. Well blocked by the defender and cleared. I believe that was a Ronda, the man in front of the net who made a nice sliding stop defensively for Robert Morris. It's hard to see exactly who it was, but you know, I think it was a Ronda. Whoever it was, really nice play and a strong defensive stand for Robert Morris. It's not done yet as Mohamed Rashid sends a missile from 30 yards out, and it is knocked down and saved by Christian Brunette. Rashid took a chance there with a deep shot, had a lot on it, but Brunette was able to knock that ball away. Here come the Saints again. Serlina chips it ahead into the box. It's Yemen. Yemen has it poked away by Marquez. Leon Laskowski, Joshua Yemen, both inside there with a momentary chance, but a foul was called against St. Francis. And now it's the Eagles in control. Corona. Tap back on defense to Salgado. There is an injured Robert Morris player. But St. Francis is on the attack. They're not going to stop play. And now 
as Aranda takes it for Robert Morris. He will roll it out of bounds and allow the medical staff, perhaps, to have a look at Irving Balboa, the injured man who is up and moving around a little bit. He was down on the ground for a minute, and then as plate didn't stop, he got up and tried to get himself involved again. Aranda kicked it out of bounds, allowing Balboa an extra minute to work it off, and he is going to just walk it off. No need for the medics to come out onto the field. Balboa will stay in the game. Just about 26 and a half minutes to play in this one. Our score is one to nothing in favor of the Fighting Saints. Raul Roman scored the goal. Got this thing started. Arana trips over that ball and nearly loses it in a tough territory, but he has the presence of mind to poke it back to Christian Brunet, and Brunet is able to get it out of there. Now on the defensive side, Mohamed Rashid has it for St. Francis. Rashid will kick it back to his goalkeeper, Carlos Ferrer Cotto, who stops the ball and sends it down the middle of the field. Collision between Yemen and Salgado there. Robert Morris comes away with the ball on defense and cleared by Aranda. Long kick down into the box, headed back by Castillo to his goalie. Carlos Perricotta will slow things down a little bit. He drops the ball on the ground. And he's going to kick it that way rather than punting. You just can't get a lot on the punts tonight going in this direction. Anytime the ball gets up high into the air, the wind knocks it down. Ivan Serlina off to Raul Roman. Roman, a big kick downfield to Kelvin and Lovu. And Lovu gets a kick in and can't get much on it. The defense was there, and Lovu barely was able to scrape that one off against the foot. And instead of getting a powerful shot, he hit an easy one hopper into the waiting hands of Christian Brunette. And Lohu off to Mohamed Rashid. Rashid at midfield. Makes a few good ball moves and now passes off to Nlovu down the sideline. Calvin and Lohu looking for a little help downfield. There's the cross and there's an interception by Corona. Corona will start the counterattack. Jonah Nuno Sheldon. Sheldon passes to Irving Balboa and Balboa loses it to Nlovu. Yemen well off sides and not entirely his fault there. Robert Morris lost that ball so quickly that by the time Nlovu kicked it to him, Yemen never really had gotten a chance to get back on sides. So we're moving in Robert Morris's direction once again. Kick downfield, Santillo will let that ball go out of bounds. Goal kick coming for the Fighting Saints. Seven wins, six losses, and a tie this year. Last time... They were at or below 500. You have to go back to September 16th. They lost the game at Goshen, one to nothing. Fell to two, three, and one. And then on September 19th, they beat Calumet St. Joseph to pick up their third win. They were three, three, and one. That was the first win on their four game streak. You never cannot keep that ball in bounds. So they came into play today one game above the 500 mark and trying to stay over 500. The loss would drop them to even at 7-7-1. Seven, seven, and one. Of course, a tie would keep them above 500 as well. 7-6-2, seven, and two, but they're not thinking tie, especially not with an early lead. Saints are gunning for their eighth win of the year. And they're on the attack here. Mohamed Rashid on the run. Rashid pulls himself up and passes off to the left side. That pass is intercepted, but a foul is called on the front end of that. Kick from Mohamed Rashid. It's going to be a free kick here for St. Francis. Well, they're not that far out, just 10 yards outside of the box. On the right side of the net, Joshua Yemen squares it up. Yemen, who's second on the team with six goals this year. Waiting for the whistle. Take this free kick. Yemen's kick goes on target and a diving stop made by Christian Brunette. On one hop, nice play by Brunette. Yemen going for the front corner. 
down low and couldn't quite get it. There's a punt from Brunette and his, with the wind at his back, is able to go deep down across midfield. And Robert Morris makes their move to the offensive side. Here's Corona. Corona to his right, intercepted by Leon Laskowski. Laskowski with Zaragoza in his face downfield. But picked off there by Jonathan Schneider. And here's Schneider again on the right defensive side. For Robert Morris. Sheldon. Jonah Sheldon's pass kicked up into the air. There's Michael Santillo. Santillo rolls it forward to Ivan Serlina. Down to the near sideline. This is Kelvin and Lovu. Stephen Campbell didn't quite reach Campbell, and Aranda instead knocked it out of bounds for a Saints throw in. Serlina to Rashid, and Rashid couldn't quite touch that ball, but the Saints don't lose possession. Roman back to Messina. Now on the far side, Leon Laskowski makes the run. Laskowski trying to pull it back to the middle of the field. He gets around, never takes the shot, and it's scooped up off the ground by Christian Brunette. Saints keeping the pressure on. That's already their sixth shot on goal. And we're only 24 minutes into the game. Had it out of bounds by Santillo. Robert Morris, by contrast, has just one shot on goal. Sir Lina knocks that ball out of bounds. Saints have lost their last two games against Judson at home last Saturday and at Roosevelt on Wednesday. Both of them one to nothing losses. Or rather Tuesday at Roosevelt. But well, the point is in both games, they have arguably had more chances than their opposition, certainly against Judson on Saturday. And then on Tuesday against Roosevelt, they controlled the play in the second half. That ball hit deep into the box. Stephen Campbell trying to knock it away. He does. Alan Santana is knocked down in the box, but Santana doesn't get the call that he wants, and instead it'll be a kick for St. Francis here. In the second half against Roosevelt, the Saints outshot the Lakers. They finished just one shot behind their total for the game. But in both of those contests in the last week, they just weren't able to get anything through. That changed today as their long scoreless drought ended. That ball deep in Robert Morris territory. Aranda heads it out of the way and lets it loose in the middle of the field right in front of the net. A very dangerous pass. Robert Morris is bailed out by Giovanni Marquez. Keeps the play alive. Now Rashid rolls it ahead looking for Roman. Knocked back to Brunette and he clears it. Alan Santana against a pair of defenders. Santana Knocks it out of bounds. It's going to be a St. Francis throw in. Aranda gets it out of harm's way. And a trip up called on Joshua Yemen. They had been shut out in back to back games, but the scoreless drop ended pretty quickly today, just nine minutes in. Saints got a goal from Raul Roman off a beautiful feed from Kelvin and Lovu. A header that went in. Past Christian Brunette, and the Saints strike first today. Every game that they've played in the month of October has been a shutout, one way or the other. Last game they played in which both teams scored was September 30th, a 6-2 win against Trinity Christian. And seeing as they're already on the board, I know that they can't get blanked. I think the Saints would happily go for a shutout again today. Roberto Torres is in for Robert Morris. Alan Santana will head to the bench. Just under 18 minutes to play. First half of action down on ATI field. Schneider tosses it in off the head of Maximilian Never. And Michael Santillo heads it out for the Fighting Saints wearing white as the home team today. Those Long sleeve jerseys. Never working his way in towards the box, puts it in front of the net and just barely out of the reach of the man who had just checked into the game, Roberto Torres. 
and out of bounds for a St. Francis throw and Torres nearly had an opportunity to get his first goal of the year right there. Tossed into Mohamed Rashid. Rashid hits it high in the air and well out of bounds. Robert Morris will get the throw in here. Tossed into Torres. Back to Corona. Torres once again finds Irving Balboa along the sideline. Now Marquez. Marquez and Balboa playing a bit of a two-man game along the sideline. To the center of the field, Corona. Corona chips it off to Never down in the right corner. Never trying to get around Leon Leskowski. He does. And now he turns to get it inside. It's headed away. Looking to get that ball to the newcomer, David Aniel. Just checked into the game. That ball will roll out the side, or up the back line to the side of the net. Left side, it's a goal kick for Carlos Ferrecoto. one nothing Fighting Saints. Robert Morris looking for the tie score. Had probably their best opportunity. Just squandered. Ball bounces in midfield. Taken by Corona, whose pass is intercepted by Mason Messina. Now it's Mohamed Rashid on the move. Rashid, deep ball to Raul Roman. Roman chases it against Jonathan Schneider. Schneider wins the race of that ball. Taps it back to the goalkeeper who clears it. Rashid to Yemen. Yemen to the ground, the whistle blows. Just about 15 minutes to go. It's the first half third to last conference game and regular season game for the Fighting Saints. They've got just two to go, Wednesday at home against Holy Cross and next Saturday at St. Ambrose and then it's on to the CCAC tournament. And I'm sure they're excited, they're gonna get to take part in that tournament this year for the first time in a little while. They went winless in conference play, back to back seasons before picking up five wins and counting in the CCAC this year. Everyone set, here's the kick from Rashid, and a diving stop left out in front of the net. Yemen will shoot and off the crossbar out of bounds. Off the, the side post, I should say. Uh, St. Francis claiming that that ball was deflected out by the goalkeeper, Christian Brunette, and it should be a corner kick. But Dan Cross's plea will go unheeded. As Robert Morris sets it up for the goal kick. There's a good shot off the free kick from Mohamed Rashid. Brunette had to make a diving play, but off the deflection, the rebound was available for Yemen. Yemen just missed off the side bar, left side of the man, and another whistle blows. Saints are gonna get another free kick here. One nothing St. Francis, Torres in front of the net, but cleared. 12 minutes to play in the first half. The Fighting Saints trying to hold on to this lead going into the break. They nearly extended it just a few moments ago. Now there's a good cross into the box, but knocked away and out of bounds. They were looking for David Aniel there. Ball did not reach Aniel. Was knocked away instead for a corner kick. Torres sets it up to take the corner. High into the air, curving towards the back post and it soars past everybody and out of bounds. It was deflected out by St. Francis. So Irving Balboa tosses it back in for the Eagles. But he tosses it right into Michael Santillo who has no problem clearing. Now Aranda pushing it back in the other direction, Balboa. Irving Balboa works his way to the middle of the field, turns and shoots wide to the left. Long shot, more than 35 yards out that time from Irving Balboa. And just couldn't get a lot on it. Pushed it on the ground. 
Pass the net to the left side of the net. Headed back by Robert Morris. And Aniel has a run, but he slows things down. The defense gets back. And Laskowski clears it up in the air and out of bounds. To the near sideline, it'll be a throw in for Robert Morris. And it belongs to Irving Balboa. Tossed into Maximilian Never, who rolls it right back to Balboa. There's a turn across to the back post, headed away by Laskowski. Out of bounds for a corner kick, not exactly the result that Laskowski and the Saints wanted, but the fact that he was able to intercept the cross is the most important thing. And now the Eagles will try it again with Torres. Roberto Torres, a substitute late in the first half, has been getting involved quite a bit. That ball nearly went through, but a little bit high from Corona. Off a good corner kick from Roberto Torres. Corona jump kick, and just a little bit over the crossbar. Robert Morris has had a couple of those today, opportunities that just miss high end up going out of bounds. Carlos Ferrer Cotto on paper has not been all that busy today. He's only got one save, and yet it seems like he's done so much more than that. He's been involved in so many close plays. Robert Morris has gotten it down in that zone a number of times. They've had good looks at the net, just haven't necessarily had the good shots to go with them. Cleared for the moment by Santillo. Here's Balboa. Calvin and Lovu comes back defensively on him. Giovanni Marquez finds Balboa once more. Balboa loses the ball. Stephen Campbell's pass is deflected. And Michael Santillo sends it towards midfield and out of bounds. Eight and a half minutes on the clock. It's Balboa along the sideline, working his way back around Ivan Serlina. Balboa pushes it through, and nobody there on the receiving end. He was trying to hook up with Roberto Torres over on the far side. Saints scored one early. They've held on to it ever since. Similar story to what we saw in the women's game a couple of hours ago. Robert Morris women scored a goal just two and a half minutes in. Ended up being enough. They did score one more in the second half, but they played the majority of that game with their one to nothing lead. That ball deep into the box and picked up by Brunette, who steps up from his goalie's position. An early goal can be huge for just the style of soccer that is played. Throws both teams into a slightly different game plan right from the beginning. St. Francis is going to get the throw in. They're also going to get a new player in. Raul Roman checks out. Remember it was Roman who scored the game's first and to this point only goal. And now he gets a chance to rest late in the first half as Miguel Duran checks in for the first time. First sub that Dan Cross has used today. Out of bounds. Knocked out by Robert Morris. Stephen Campbell gears up to throw it in. Yemen. Tap to Enlovu. And worked back all the way to Mason Messina. Now Ivan Serlina. One touch to get around Corona. Corona sticking with him from behind. And there's the cross from Serlina. Intercepted and cleared. Initially intercepted by Aranda, and then cleared by Ariel Salgado. Throw in for St. Francis, though, as they try to keep the attack on. Mohamed Rashid knocks it out of bounds. Right in between Campbell and Kelvin and Lovu, he was looking for one of the two of them, but he split the difference and rolled it out of bounds for a Robert Morris toss. Michael Santillo hits it out of bounds. Robert Morris gets to throw it in again. Now go to Campbell. Campbell hit it out of bounds, but he was shoved from behind in the process. So rather than another Robert Morris throwing, we'll have a Saints kick in. The ball's already in. It'll just be a kick forward, I suppose. Six minutes to go, first half. Campbell down across midfield. Yeah. 
rolled away by Robert Morris, but Mason Messina is there to receive a pass from Michael Santillo after Santillo had stepped up defensively. Pass rolled ahead to Miguel Duran, but the offsides flag is up. And Duran has to move back after the infraction. At midfield, Mohamed Rashid knocks it away from Roberto Torres and out of bounds. Torres rolls it over to, El to Balboa. Saints take possession back, but Robert Morris squeezes it right away from them. Aranda, big kick down the right side. Torres on the run, won't get there. That's out of bounds and across just in front of the flag, meaning it's out the back line. It is going to be a goal kick. Carlos Ferrer Cotto sizes it up for the big kick. Siri puts this one down the far side, headed back by Robert Morris, and now a mad scramble for that ball. And he'll try to get there before Brian Castillo can, but Castillo reaches the spot first and knocks it out of bounds. So it'll be a throw in for Robert Morris, but that allows St. Francis' defense to get back in position. It also allows the Eagles to make a substitution. Alan Sanchez comes in. Sanchez, a junior defender off the bench. This is Corona, rolled ahead into the box and Cotto picks it up. Aniel was the closest one to that ball. Saints defenders were looking for an offsides call. They didn't get it, but they did get their goalie stepping up to make the play. That ball well across midfield. Yemen heads it into the air, left side. Miguel Duran is forced off the ball out of bounds, but because he was pushed, it's a free kick for St. Francis. Leon Laskowski is set to take the kick as the clock ticks down to three minutes remaining before halftime. Laskowski into the box. There's a shot off the crossbar from Enlovu on the rebound, too high and out of bounds from Mohamed Rashid. Christian Brunette came out of the net to play the first shot from Enlovu, inches high. It shook the net, but didn't quite go into it. But on the rebound, right back to Rashid, he had an open net. There were a few defenders in his way, though, so he had to alter his shot. And it went too high and ends up out of bounds. So Enlovu will check out now to a good hand. He picked up a beautiful assist earlier and just missed his first goal of the night. But a substitution here is Anthony Scripp checks in for the final couple minutes of the first half. St. Francis' defense here getting a good challenge. Carlos Ferracoto races out of the box and heads it out of the way. Nice play by the goalkeeper. A little bit out of his comfort zone there, but stopping Anio. Here's Never into the box. Never shoots, diving stop, Cotto. Ball loose in front of the net. Tap back to Corona and intercepted by Mohamed Rashid. St. Francis' defense holds strong and they get it out of the way. That was a scary moment for the Fighting Saints. Tossed in by Robert Morris. Even Campbell heads it away. They strip over to Messina. Mason Messina rolls it across midfield. Down the sideline, Joshua Yemen. Yemen cuts it back to the middle. His pass is deflected. Duran on the run. Duran pokes it off the hands of Christian Brunette who makes a big stop. Duran had gotten there just a half second earlier. It's probably a goal for St. Francis, but it is a very tight game sometimes. Just comes down to Brunette, getting to the right spot in just enough time. That's what happened. Here's Balboa with now under a minute to play in the first half. Carlos Ferrer-Cotto chases that ball out of bounds. He will not have to touch it, so he will get a goal kick. Chase that ball a long way before pulling it back in bounds, and that allows some seconds to tick off the clock. I think the Saints 
will be content with their one goal lead in the halftime. Koto has already allowed about 30 seconds to run down before taking this kick. And he's going to take a little bit more time. 25 on the clock right now. There's the kick. The wind knocks it down once again, headed at midfield. Joshua Yemen, a bicycle kick downfield. Miguel Duran trying to get one more good chance here. Off to Scrip. Scrip kicks it off of Irving Balboa. Deflection follows called against Balboa, but with five seconds left, it's not going to matter. They will not have time to get anything going here. Scrip takes a shot, and by the time it gets to the net, the buzzer sounds. So, it's halftime. St. Francis scored an early goal, Raul Roman. First time collegiately that he's put one in the back of the net, and he's given St. Francis the one nothing lead. That's where we stand with 45 minutes still to play. It was a very exciting first half. Hopefully more of the same in the second half of today's action. I'll have that for you in about 15 minutes. Right now, I'll step aside. Stick with us, though, back in 15 for half number two.
Back in Joliet for second half action. St. Francis leads Robert Morris one to nothing in tonight's soccer contest. Nine minute goal for Raul Roman is the difference right now, assisted by Kelvin and Lovu. Both teams had a lot of chances late in the first half, but the score remained one to nothing. It was a very exciting first 45 minutes of play. So hopefully we get more of the same here in the second half as the Saints and the Eagles take the field. They've reversed sides. St. Francis now going from right to left, and Robert Morris takes first possession here, going from left to right. This is Irving Balboa, and Balboa pushes it forward on the left side. There's a cross and a save from Carlos Ferrer Cotto. Picked off that pass right there, and he'll get to clear it. On the punt as everybody moves downfield, and now that he's got the wind at his back, his punt can Travel significantly further. That one went about 60 yards in the air. Going the other way, that wind blowing in your face, which is the way it is right now for Christian Brunette, Robert Morris's goalie. Every punt just seems to get knocked down before midfield. But it is Robert Morris taking control once again. Going from left to right on your screen here. It's Torres passing off to the left side. Stephen Campbell chases that ball down and kicks it up into the air and out of bounds along the sideline. There'll be a Robert Morris throw in here and it belongs to Irving Balboa. Balboa tosses it in. Ivan Serlina on the defense, tap back to Balboa once again. And Kelvin and Lovu comes up from an offensive position, knock that ball away. Pushed ahead to Joshua Yemen. He's forced off the ball and there's a whistle foul. It's called and St. Francis is going to get a free kick here. Taking a look at a few stats up to this point in the game. Very even in shots taken, 13 for the Fighting Saints. 12 shots so far for the Eagles, but St. Francis has a significant edge in terms of shots on goal, nine to four. All four of those shots from Robert Morris have been saved by Carlos Ferrer Cotto. He's already made more saves today than his average per game. So the Eagles have put a lot of pressure on him, but he's been up to the challenge. As for Christian Brunette, he is doing a yeoman's job down there as well. Eight saves for him. And that is right around his season average. And he achieved that in just one half of play today. He also allowed one goal. When you're peppered with that many shots, it's tough to stop them all. He's got a pretty good percentage, just not perfect. Raul Roman down near the back line, trying to keep it in bounds. He can't, and it's going to go out for a corner kick. Roman was able to force it off of Jonathan Schneider as the two of them jockeyed for position. Schneider was the last one to touch it before going out, and so it is a corner kick here, three minutes into the second half. Leon Laskowski will set it up for the kick. Laskowski's kick is away to the backside. It's headed away. Mitchell Corona on the stop there. And then on the back end of the play, Mason Messina stepped up for a long range shot. With that ball high and well off the mark. So Robert Morris dodges that bullet. And now their defense is able to turn upfield and lost out of bounds. So Calvin and Lovu throws it right back in, but maybe an ill fated throw. The whistle is blown. And St. Francis is going to get to try a free kick here. I didn't see that one, but uh, an infraction against Robert Morris means that the Saints are in good position. Just 13 yards out. Far to the right side. It's rolled in by Yemen and knocked away by Robert Morris. Back out to Messina. Mason Messina passes to Yemen along the sideline. And it's lost by Robert Morris out of bounds. Saints get another throw in. Yemen passes out to Nlovu. Nlovu. 
just outside the box, working towards the middle of the field. Passes out to a wide open Leon Leskowski. One touch, now inside, takes the shot and hit up into the air and out of harm's way by Christian Brunette. Nice save on a good looking shot from Leskowski. Now here's Roman. Arenado knocks it away from him and out of bounds for a throw in. Edgar Arenado picked up a yellow card moments ago. That was just prior to the free kick. Still in there, hanging around on defense. Mohamed Rashid loses the ball. Roberto Torres on the defense. Now here's Leon Leskowski. Leskowski can't weave his way around Jonathan Schneider, and Schneider gets it away. Off to Maximilian Never. The Eagles are on the counter here. Alan Sanchez loses the ball momentarily, gets it right back. Ariel Salgado rolls it forward. Hit up in the air by Arenado. Headed away by the St. Francis defense. Some contact. And a foul called on Arenada as Kelvin and Lovu was thrust towards the turf. So it's a free kick for the Fighting Saints here, leading one to nothing. Still fairly early in the second half. Just over 39 minutes to play in the game. Leon Leskowski, who had a shot blocked moments ago, gets the free kick now. Sends it in towards the net and knocked away. Ball loose in the box. Yemen shoots, and we've got a handball coming up, I think. And in the box on Robert Morris, that could be a killer for the Eagles. Initially, it was Edgar Arenada who cleared it right off the bat, off of Leskowski's free kick, but the ball was still loose in the box. There was some jostling for it. Somebody got it on the hand for Robert Morris, and that sets up a penalty kick for Mohamed Rashid. Here it comes. Rashid scores. Mohamed Rashid puts it in off the penalty kick. He scores his ninth goal of the year to lead the team, and the Saints have doubled their lead. They scored early in the first half. And now they score early in the second half to go up two to nothing. 38-49 to play in the game. Big score for Rashid. Man who entered play today with the team lead in goals and assists. He had been relatively quiet offensively in this game, but that changes on the penalty kick. That scores the goal in the 52nd minute. Rolled into the box and stopped by Carlos Ferrer Cotto. Kicked well beyond midfield and a little bit too far for Raul Roman trying to chase it down. It goes out of bounds for a Robert Morris throw. Alan Sanchez working his way down the sideline. Looking ahead for Maximilian Never. Didn't get it to him, but he's going to get a foul call. So it's set up for a Robert Morris free kick. And it's played short. Schneider to Torres. And whistle blows because Raul Roman was a little shaken up, but he's all right. They'll try this again. Roberto Torres go a little bit longer on this one. Maximilian Never in the box. Nice looking cross, but he couldn't quite hook up with Ignacio Zaragoza. Out of bounds for a goal kick. Zaragoza was there. A better pass would have had him. Or maybe a better read on the pass from Zaragoza. But they missed each other by a couple of feet, and Saints catch a break on that. As the shot sails out of bounds for a goal kick. Ferrer Cotto sends it away. Maximilian Never takes it back in the other direction. Never to Torres, right back to Never. N-E-V-E-R. Just as you'd expect it to be spelled. Robert Morris on the move. Down the field to Never. He shoots, and on one hop, it's a diving save by Carlos Ferrer Cotto. I always feel like I'm saying something else when I mention his name, but it is a proper name. 
Ahmed Rashid chases that throw from Cotto down the sideline. Nifty ball work. Trips himself, but keeps possession. Pass off to the left, Raul Roman. Roman sends it in towards the net, and it's picked off by the goalkeeper, Brunette, who's allowed two goals tonight, but has also made nine saves in what has overall been a pretty good night for him. One of the goals, remember, came just a few minutes ago on a penalty kick. Mohamed Rashid shoots again, this time wide to the right and out of bounds. The clock ticks down under 36 minutes to play in tonight's game. It's been a very busy day here in Joliet. St. Francis football victorious earlier tonight, earlier this afternoon, I should say, on this field. Women's soccer team lost to Robert Morris a couple of hours ago. Now the men's soccer team trying to make it a winning day for the Fighting Saints here at home. And what has been a Fighting Saints sports triple header. Long run for Schneider, and he tracks it down and taps it off to Brunette. Brunette was hassled by Raul Roman, but he gets rid of it to Mason Messina. Messina now making a run. Messina into the box, shoots too high. Just high from Mason Messina, nearly made it three to nothing. He had an open look at the net, maybe rushed it a bit, and pushed it over the crossbar and out of bounds. So a good chance for the Fighting Saints. Turns into a goal kick for Robert Morris, and they'll play it short on the defensive side. Alan Sanchez struggling to get it out of harm's way, and now it will find its way back to Christian Brunette, who this time just picks it up and directs his teammates before giving a kick downfield. At midfield, ball loose. Raul Roman finds it. Serlina can't control for the Fighting Saints. Leon Leskowski does keep it in bounds. But Corona controls the ball for Robert Morris and starts to make a move down to the other side of the field. It's Torres. Torres rolls it for Balboa. Back to Torres. Tackled away from him. And now it is Kelvin and Lovu. And Lovu racing between a couple of defenders but loses the ball ultimately to Schneider. Near sideline. It's never. Taken away by Brian Castillo. Castillo loses it to Zaragoza, never takes over, but he is well off sides. Flag goes up immediately and the whistle blows. Free kick for St. Francis coming up. 33-45 to go in the game. Substitution coming on for Robert Morris University, Jason Solaris, freshman from Addison Trail High School, one of a few freshmen from Addison Trail High School on this team. Getting set to come in, he will not, my mistake, will not be able to check in just yet. It is a St. Francis free kick. Roman to Enlovu. Calvin Enlovu tripped up, no call, play on. Incidental contact there, and Robert Morris is able to clear it. Knocked away and out of bounds. Last touched by the Eagles. St. Francis gets another throw here. Stephen Campbell will toss it in play. Yemen heads it off of Arenado, kicks it out of bounds, and the Saints will try it again. Further downfield this time. Two to nothing, St. Francis with goals from Roman and Rashid. Yemen. Trips and loses that ball out of bounds. And this time the throw in will belong to Robert Morris. No, it won't, sorry. It will belong to St. Francis. Robert Morris is getting set to throw it in. Tom Kazaka, the official, is indicating the whole way. No, give it back to the team in white. So here they come. Ivan Serlina pushes off to Leon Leskowski. Leskowski working against Never. Weaves his way into the box. Schneider gets it away from Laskowski and trips. Laskowski knocks it off of an eagle and out of bounds. That one last touched, I believe, by Adiel Salgado. And now as we prepare for a corner kick, Laskowski will take it over to put this ball back in. There's the kick. Under the foot of Enlovu on the back end. A shot and a goal from Mohamed Rashid.
Rashid scores his second goal of the second half, and the Saints lead it three to nothing. Rashid has his 10th goal of the season. And a big lead for the Fighting Saints. A uh, good looking corner kick from Leon Laskowski. Calvin and Lobu was first one to that ball at the front post, and Lobu, I think, intentionally let that ball roll under his foot. And there was Rashid waiting on the back side of that to poke it in to the right side of the net. So Rashid scores again, assisted by Laskowski. A new team high. Fifth assist of the year for Laskowski. Robert Morris tries to quickly respond, going the other way. This is Zaragoza working against Castillo. Two of them very physical. And uh, finally, a foul is called against Zaragoza. After that goal, Robert Morris was finally able to get that sub in. Jason Solaris for Edgar Arenado. Carlos Ferrer Cotto controls it for St. Francis. Down the middle of the field. Pass for Raul Roman, and there's Joshua Yemen. He's on sides, and he's got a free path now. Into the box. He shoots, saved by Brunette. On the rebound, Joshua Yemen scores. Just one minute after Rashid makes it three to nothing, Yemen makes it four to nothing. And a great counterattack there from St. Francis is Robert Morris took it right after that goal was scored they quickly worked their way down field but a foul was called and St. Francis reversed field in a hurry a beautiful ball to Joshua Yemen who missed on the first attempt but scored off of essentially his own assist off the rebound it's a tough day for Christian Brunette because he has just been constantly peppered with shots hasn't had a bad game there's not a whole lot more he can do to stop some of these. He's allowed four goals, and those will all go on his stat sheet against him, but he's played better than that, and that'll show as well in the 10 saves that he's made. Joshua Yemen scores his seventh goal of the year. It comes in the 60th minute. His kick from the corner is headed away. Out of bounds for Robert Morris here. Cleared initially, but Alan Sanchez still on the attack for Robert Morris and cleared once again. Here's Yemen on the run. And from the backside, Mohamed Rashid really chasing that ball down, but it's cleared for the moment. Now here's Calvin and Lovu. And Lovu rolls to the right side, Rashid. Rashid around a defender, shoots, and another nice save by Brunette. A powerful shot there from Mohamed Rashid, but Brunette is able to deflect it out of bounds for a St. Francis corner kick. This will be their fourth corner kick of the game. They scored on their last one. Leskowski assisted to Mohamed Rashid. And Leon Leskowski set to take another kick. There it goes to Yemen this time, and Yemen hits it way too high and out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick now for Robert Morris with just under 29 minutes remaining. This was a tight game. Raul Roman scored in the ninth minute to make it 1-0. It was 1-0 for the rest of the first half and into the second half, but finally Mohamed Rashid on a penalty kick scored the second goal in the 52nd minute, making it 2-0. It was Rashid again just seven minutes later to make it 3-0, and then one minute after that, in the 60th minute of the game, Yemen struck for his seventh goal this year. It's four to nothing. And Carlos Ferrer Cotto jumps into the lane there and picks that ball off and ensures that it will stay four to nothing for at least a little while longer. High arcing punt that bounces across midfield. Controlled by Solaris defensively. Ahead to Irving Balboa. Balboa's pass is deflected going the other way and Yemen trying to keep it in bounds, but he cannot do so. Actually, Robert Morris on the free kick. Pushing it ahead, Corona. 
Sanchez to his right and Balboa. Roberto Torres pokes it off to the right side and Leon Laskowski heads it in the other direction. Down the sideline, it stays in. This sent back to Brunette. The pressure from Yemen forces Brunette to kick that ball quickly, reversing field to the left side. This is Marquez. Giovanni Marquez over to Salgado. Delgado's pass deflected, loose in the air, and knocked out of bounds unintentionally by Jonathan Schneider. Mason Messina intercepted. Here's Alan Sanchez working his way around Mohamed Rashid. Sanchez rolls it across midfield to Irving Balboa, who pokes it back to Corona, slowing things down a bit for the Eagles. Corona, deep ball downfield to Sanchez. Sanchez into the box, trying to control it with the first touch. He's able to pull it in and pass off to Balboa. Now Balboa works his way back, giving it up to Roberto Torres. Balboa tripped up, and there's a foul call. Just outside the box here. Balboa will take it quickly, and Maximilian never sends it well over the net. Out of bounds for a St. Francis goal kick. Here comes David Aniel back into the game for the Eagles. And Ignacio Zaragoza, transfer from Triton College, will get a break. Four to nothing, St. Francis. They've outshot Robert Morris, 25 to 15. A lot of shots in one game for the Fighting Saints, and there's still 25 plus minutes to go here. Fighting Saints will get the free kick from just on their side of the field. Stephen Campbell positions it. Senior from Germany. Down the field to Kelvin and Lovu. Now Yemen on the cross. Can't find anybody there. Mohamed Rashid chasing it down and can't quite keep it in bounds. Robert Morris on defense trying to get it out. Sanchez does move it outside the box and pass off to his left. Marquez to Solaris. Corona, constantly pressured by St. Francis' offense. They're just having trouble getting it off of this side of the field right now, despite the fact they haven't lost possession. Now they do lose possession, and Lovu crosses to Yemen. Header is too high and out of bounds. Substitute coming on for the Fighting Saints. Anthony Scripp is coming in. Calvin and Lovu with a big lead and 24 minutes remaining in the game. We'll take a seat. Things tighten up. We'll undoubtedly see Enlovu again here. If not, he may be done for the day. We'll see what Dan Cross has in mind. Roberto Torres. Down the field. Ivan Serlina tackles that ball away from Corona. Down on the far end. This is a long run for Raul Roman. Roman does tap it once to keep it in bounds. There's the cross from the corner. And it's knocked away by Brunette. The ball loose in front of the goal, but nobody there in white to tap it in. So Brunette is able to recover and scoop it up, rolling that ball out of harm's way. Brunette stops and passes off to the left side. Irving Balboa. Turns it upfield. Balboa across midfield. Crosses over to the left, working around Mason Messina, but Messina is able to come up with a stop. On the right side, this is Jonathan Schneider taking it back for Robert Morris. Schneider into the middle of the field and Balboa. To his left, Corona. Corona pushes ahead to Never. Maximilian Never crosses through a couple of defenders, but nobody there on the other end. Anthony Scripp clears it. Robert Morris chasing four goals late here. 
they only average about a goal per game, 14 scored in 12 games this year, so it's going to be tough for them to muster the firepower to erase this deficit in just 22 and a half minutes, which is how much time we've got remaining right now. Roberto Torres rolls it to the left, and Balboa. St. Francis' defense has been so tough today as well. Robert Morris, they've been able to control possessions, but they're just not getting clean shots off. Left side, this is Aniel. Giovanni Marquez passes backwards and back on the defensive side now at Solaris. Jason Solaris back to Giovanni Marquez. Intercepted by Michael Santillo. And it's Brian Castillo who clears it downfield. Eagles leading goal scorer this year, Alan Santana. Not in the game at the moment. That ball rolls all the way back to Christian Brunette, and he starts in motion the other way. They've got three players with two goals, Irving Balboa, Mitchell Corona, and David Aniel. They've got to get moving now if they want to try to pull off the miracle comeback against the Fighting Saints. St. Saint Francis is not slowing down. They're still angling for more. There's a good ball from Rashid to script, but a little bit too far out in front of them. And Brunette makes the diving stop. Last year, these two teams met up. Saints kept it close, but this is a series rivalry that has been dominated by Robert Morris, and that's the case of most conference opponents against Fighting Saints in the last couple of years. But they have proven it time and again. They've been able to turn things around this CCAC season. On the verge now of their sixth conference win of the year after back-to-back -back zeros in CCAC play. There's a good cross, but it's defended well by Santillo and stopped by the Fighting Saints. Schneider trips over the ball and loses it to Anthony Scripp. Yemen taps it towards Rashid, but intercepted. Irving Balboa working against Scripp. And Balboa does get around him to the middle of the field. Corona, good ball. Aniel shoots it wide to the left. Nice pass there from Corona. It looked like he may have set up the shot that was going to get the Eagles on the board, but Aniel just could not get a good clean touch on it. It sailed wide to the left for a missed shot and a goal kick. And now Jose Martinez, who has started eight games this year, comes in off the bench for Ivan Serlina. Saints making a substitution with just under 20 minutes to play. Salgado for the Eagles taps it back to Solaris. And Solaris will go further back to the goalkeeper Brunette. Saints battling for a couple of things in terms of conference standings right now. They still have not technically been eliminated from contention for the conference championship. Well, that would be extremely unlikely at this point. Even if they win all three games, they would need an awful lot of help in order to bring in that championship. I don't know that that's what's on their mind right now. They just you know, win whatever game is presented in front of them. Into the box, a chance here for Robert Morris, but they will not turn it into a goal. Corona and Aniel were both in on it. Aniel was closer and in better position to score there, but the ball soared past him. Corona came in from the back and he couldn't quite reach it either. Substitution for the Eagles. Vojslav Ilich is in, and Jonathan Schneider heads out. Schedule sets up well for the Fighting Saints. These last three games, Robert Morris, Holy Cross, and St. Ambrose, those three teams have combined this year for just four conference wins. That includes Robert Morris's one, and a game that the Saints have not wrapped up yet, but are in pretty good position to win with 18 minutes to go. And a 4-0 lead. The clock stops here at 18.04. As Miguel Duran will come in once again for St. Francis. And Joshua Yemen checks out. No such thing as an easy victory in conference play, and 
thinks, no, that they're not going to count on anything against Holy Cross and St. Ambrose, and they're not going to count on this one yet either. So they're going to fight for another 18 minutes to try to wrap this thing up. But the schedule certainly has played into their favor over the final few weeks of the year. After they've gone through their toughest stretch of the season, their last four games were against some of the best teams in the conference, and they ended up losing three of those four. Now they wrap up the year with some of the teams that are towards the bottom of the CCAC standings. St. Francis needs to finish in the top eight in order to qualify for the CCAC tournament. That has not officially been clinched yet, but looking like a pretty safe bet as Anthony Scripp chases this ball down the left sideline. Scripp tracks it down in the corner, trying to turn it once again, but he's defended the entire way by Illich, and Illich eventually forces it out. Along the sideline, it'll be a throw in. Scripp throws it in. He was looking for Jose Martinez in the middle of the field, but a little bit too strong for him. And intercepted by Robert Morris, but on the back end offensively, it's Mohamed Rashid still leading the charge for St. Francis. Rashid loses it. And here come the Eagles. Top four seeds will get at least one home game in the CCAC tournament, which is set to begin in two weeks. Entering play today, St. Francis was tied for fourth in the conference standings with Judson, although Judson did beat them head to head here last week. And on the defensive side, it's Castillo and Santillo. And now back to Carlos Ferrer Cotto. He kicks it deep downfield and all the way to his counterpart, Christian Brunette will stop it with the right foot and pass it off to his left side starting Move in the other direction. A win today for St. Francis would guarantee them a winning conference record. And again, it can't be overstated how impressive the turnaround is after going winless in conference play each of the last two years. To guarantee themselves a winning conference record, regardless of, of what that means in the ultimate standings. That would be a mighty impressive accomplishment. Robert Morris in the midfield circle. Balboa. Dribbles his way forward and slows things down a little bit with Martinez in pursuit. He gives it up to Never, gets it right back, and now Never in the front of the field, off to his right. This is Illich. Illich gets around one defender, Laskowski, but can't get by the second man. Anthony Scripp knocks it downfield and out of bounds. 15 minutes to play in the game. Another sub for Robert Morris. Jonah Nuno Sheldon comes in for Roberto Torres. Corona pops it over his head and out of bounds. Goal kick coming up for Carlos Ferrer Cotto and the Fighting Saints. It's been an excellent night of soccer for the Fighting Saints. Beautiful weather. It's been a beautiful September night and in late October, no less. An ultimate home game. Senior night coming up this Wednesday. The weather conditions probably will not be quite as nice. It's supposed to be fairly cool on Wednesday evening when the Saints play their final scheduled home game. But again, they very well may get another one depending on how the season wraps up with the CCAC tournament looming. Out of bounds, St. Francis throw in here. Scripp enters it back into play very quickly to Mohamed Rashid working down the side. Rashid is shoved to the ground by Salgado and a foul is gonna be called on Adiel Salgado. Mohamed Rashid is hurt and down on the ground on his chest and now rolling over onto his back. Shaken up after getting pushed to the ground from behind by Adiel Salgado. And Salgado has been given a red card for his troubles. So for the big push to Mohamed Rashid, Salgado is tossed from the game. 13-37 to play in this one. And already with a four goal deficit, Robert Morris will now be playing a man down. Leon Laskowski will get the free kick from just to the side of the box 
on the left. St. Francis has a chance here to take a five goal lead. Here's the shot to the back side. It sails high and wide and out of bounds. Leon Laskowski comes up empty on the kick. And Robert Morris will get the free kick here. The goal kick, in fact. Miguel Espinoza makes his fourth appearance of the year for St. Francis. Mohamed Rashid shaken up on that last foul. He'll sit down with two goals scored today. Another impressive performance for the senior Mohamed Rashid. It doesn't look like his injury is anything serious, but Dan Cross, with just 13 minutes left in a four-goal game, doesn't want to take any chances with his star player. Raul Roman working his way by a couple of defenders. It's cleared by Robert Morris. Here's Leon Laskowski for the Saints, knocking it off of Irving Balboa and out of bounds. Throw in for Laskowski. Grip down the sideline, trying to blow by Illich, but Illich staying right there. Nice pass from Script to Martinez into the box. Martinez dribbles around a defender. Brunette steps in and forces that ball out of bounds. Martinez maybe dancing just a little bit too much on that play. He gave Brunette a chance to work his way out of the goal. Some good ball work by Jose Martinez, but he held on to the ball a second too long, allowing Brunette to make the stop. However, it does go out of bounds for a corner kick in St. Francis. Has scored on a corner kick already once today. Here's Leskowski's effort to the front post. Headed away by Solaris and we'll do it again. Leskowski places that ball again and now here it comes. This time he plays it deeper and headed away easily by Robert Morris. Espinoza, pass deflected and knocked away. St. Francis up four to nothing, the four goals scored, their most in any game since the six to two win over Trinity Christian on September 30th. And like this game, that one featured a lot of second half action after a relatively tame first 45 minutes. This one was only one to nothing at halftime, but the Saints scored three goals in a matter of eight minutes to begin to run away a little bit. This is just the third time this year that the Fighting Saints have scored more than two goals in a contest, and it's got to feel good after getting shut out in their last two games, and three of their last four, all of them one to nothing defeats. To put four on the board in one contest here today, starting to get their offense back in rhythm. It's a big deal for the Fighting Saints. We're nearing the end of the season and looking for a postseason run. Cleared by the Saints and sent back the other way by Sanchez. Here's Illich. Voislav Illich passes off to Corona. Alan Sanchez rolls it to the left side. Solaris, ten and a half minutes to play in the game. Trying to make a run here. Ball sent ahead for Maximilian Never, and Never is forced off the ball by Leon Laskowski. Uh, Never a little bit shaken up after that hit, but he's up and okay. Now here on the other end, Miguel Duran will take a shot and sail it out of bounds for a goal kick. And the Saints with a big lead late in this one. Set up another substitution. Adam Elshalakani is going to come in, making just his second appearance of the season. He scored a goal in his first outing. And now he comes in for Raul Roman late. Oh, we'll got some rare action on the field. Senior from Plainfield East High School. Immediately he bends over to tie his shoe after checking in. Robert Morris running on the other end. Maximilian Never. Knocked out of bounds by Brian Castillo. Alshul Akani in as the lone forward for the Fighting Saints right now. In the box, that ball forced away by St. Francis and cleared 
And here's Martinez back to Ashley Kani. We'll pass it off to the right side and behind his intended target. Stephen Campbell trying to get to that ball, but he slips and falls, and the ball rolls out of bounds. Here's Corona. Corona boots it ahead, looking for never, overshot him. And Carlos Ferrer Cotto pulls it in on the back end. Eight and a half minutes to go. Cotto taking his time, as you would expect, in a game that has grown lopsided and nearing an end. would like to bring about that end with as little extra effort as possible. So he eats about 15 seconds off the clock before finally kicking it downfield. Here's Espinoza rolling to the right side and Campbell. Campbell's kick is headed back the other way. Irving Balboa. Push down field. Ball's kicked into the box by Jonah Nuno Sheldon. And Carlos Ferrer Cotto puts a stop to it. Punted across midfield and controlled by Anthony Scripp. Leskowski and Scripp get a little bit tangled up and the ball is knocked out of bounds by Illich. Jose Martinez forced off the ball by Irving Balboa and here come the Eagles. Illich across midfield. Rolled ahead for Aniel. And Aniel loses it. Taken away by St. Francis. Scripp looking for El Shalikani. Can't find him in the box. Instead it'll be Alan Sanchez taking it. Kick short by Brunette. Balboa intercepted by Mason Messina. Messina pushed forward. This is Miguel Duran. Duran making a run, runs right into Solaris and has it taken away. And now the Eagles on the attack. Santillo defending Aniol and Brian Castillo taps it back to his goalkeeper. Cotto gives it a big kick downfield off the head of El Shalikani down into the box and Brunette will stop that ball with his chest and control it, kicking it to the right side and Alan Sanchez. Getting late in this game with just six minutes to go. Four nothing St. Francis. They were up one to nothing at the half, scoring their first goal early. And then their last three came in an eight minute stretch midway through the second half. A little bit less than midway through the second half between the 52nd and 60th minutes is when they got their three second half goals. Here's Alan Sanchez trying to at least break up the shutout Carlos Ferrer Cotto, the freshman goalkeeper from La Fresnada, Spain, is looking for his fourth shutout of the season in just 14 games. Substitution for Robert Morris, Ignacio Zaragoza, who is a starter for the Eagles, checks back in for David Aniel. Patrick Sapelt, Gorajewski trying to get some of his extra strikers back in there. Trying to get something on the board over the final five minutes. Brunette reverses field, going to the far side. This is Balboa up the middle. Irving Balboa down past the initial line of defenders. Brian Castillo comes in from behind it and forces that ball out the far sideline for a Robert Morris throw in. Lobbed in along the side to Solaris. Solaris pushes it forward. Zaragoza. Back to Sheldon. Sheldon trying to hook up with Never, and Never is forced to the ground by Leon Laskowski. It's going to be a free kick for the Eagles here from just outside the box. So they will get their chance here to try to break up this shutout and Hold it within three. No, 
Ball is set up. Sheldon and Never are both there. Now Sheldon will back away. It's going to be Maximilian Never taking the shot. Diving stop by Cotto on the rebound. The header misses from Corona. And it's pushed away by the Fighting Saints. Nice work, as usual, by Carlos Ferrer Cotto. And the Saints preserve the shutout for now. Trying to pull off their first shutout in two weeks. They beat Trinity International 2 to nothing. Their last five losses have all come via the shutout. Two of their last three wins have been shutout victories. They've not played a lot of high-scoring games this year, one way or the other. There's a cross. It'll go towards the sideline and knocked out of bounds by Laskowski. Throw-in coming for Robert Morris. It's Never. Working around Anthony Scripp. Never taps it off to his right. Sheldon. Sheldon crosses. Nobody there on the back end. And it's cleared by the Fighting Saints. Also Lacani controls it at midfield. Turns around and fires to the right side. Here's Duran. Back to Elsa Lacani. Chipped into the box and nobody there. Brunette makes the stop. Zaragoza to Balboa. Rolled to the right side and Sanchez. Alan Sanchez pulls up, stops at midfield, passes back to Balboa. Final two minutes of play here. Robert Morris on the move, Corona, slide tackle. It's taken away by Miguel Duran. Duran's still going. And finally, he runs into Jason Solaris, who stops him and takes the ball back in the other direction. Maximilian Never. Cutting back the other way and now towards the middle of the field. Finds Balboa. Balboa works past Leskowski. Good ball to Illich. Illich taps it into the box. Takes the shot and that's going to roll in. Robert Morris gets on the board. It's Wojciech Illich making a great run and scoring Robert Morris's first goal, so it will not be a shutout victory for St. Francis. But with 85 seconds remaining in the game and a three goal advantage, it still looks like a pretty safe win for the Fighting Saints, even if it will not come with a zero on the other team's scoreboard. Wojcelaf Illich scores for the first time this year. So a nice feat for him, getting his name into the stats column. Junior forward from Chicago, Sen High School. Irving Balboa picked up the assist, and for Balboa, it was the third assist of 2017. Final 50 seconds here, John Lund, who checked in for Mason Messina, touching that ball off to Leon Leskowski. Martinez rolled ahead for Laskowski. Laskowski's got a one-on-one -on -one here. Laskowski working his way to the net, shoots, and it's just wide. Brunette may have tipped that ball, and it's into the corner for a corner kick, 30 seconds to go. Laskowski just missed. He already has an assist today, and he very nearly picked up his third goal of the year. And now he's got a chance for one more assist. With 20 seconds left, he'll take a corner kick, and this should wrap up the contest. Laskowski puts this ball in play. Brunette punches it out of the way and cleared out of the box. That ball will roll to a stop along the sideline out of bounds. That's going to do it. And St. Francis comes out victorious with a 4-1 to win over Robert Morris. A very impressive victory today for the Fighting Saints who pick up their eighth victory of the year, their sixth conference win. And they improved to 6-3 and three in the CCAC. They had lost back-to-back one-to-nothing contest to Judson and Roosevelt over the last week, so jumping back into the win column for the first time since October 7th, the two-to-nothing victory at Trinity International. This was a pretty entertaining game today, especially 
the first half and then early in the second half when the Saints started piling on those goals. They got on the board in the first place in the ninth minute when Calvin and Lovu sent a beautiful cross to the left side in front of the net. Raul Roman was able to head it in. Roman picked up his first collegiate goal and make it one to nothing St. Francis. It was still one to nothing despite a flurry of activity late in the first half. At halftime, the Saints were able to strike early in the second half in the seventh minute thanks to a handball in the box. Mohamed Rashid got a penalty kick. He made it pay off and the Saints led two to nothing. Seven minutes later, 59th minute, Rashid off a corner kick from Leon Laskowski came in from the back post and scored his second goal of the night and made it 3-0 Saints and didn't quite put the game away but it made them feel very comfortable and then it was put away a minute later when Joshua Yemen scored his seventh goal of the year making it 4 to nothing in favor of St. Francis and it looked for a long time like they were going to pull off the 4 to nothing shutout win but in the 89th minute the junior forward for Robert Moore's Voislav Illich picked up his first goal of the year off a pass from Irving Balboa to make it 4-1. to one. Still an impressive win for the Fighting Saints as they improve to 8-6-1 and one on the year. Robert Morris falls to 2-10-1 and one on the season. Fighting Saints now 6-3 and three in conference play and the Eagles drop to 1-7-1. and one. Just two games left in the conference season for the Fighting Saints and in the regular season before they move on to the CCAC tournament which opens on November 4th. The home finale, senior night, coming up on Wednesday, 7 o'clock p.m. against Holy Cross, and then they finish the season on Saturday at St. Ambrose. That'll be a 2 o'clock start time in Iowa a week from today. That will do it for this one. St. Francis defeats Robert Morris by a final score of 4-1, to one, their eighth victory of the year, guaranteeing them no worse than a 500 record during the 2017 regular season. The impressive turnaround for St. Francis continues. They're back at it on senior night Wednesday, 7 o'clock p.m. right here in Joliet. I'll be with you for that one as well, so hopefully you join us for the home finale on the 2017 regular season against Holy Cross just four days from today. Until then, this is Terry Bonadonna signing off for the University of St. Francis. Good night, all.